Those were the good old days. Have you heard about the rubber ducks? That was a thing that I almost talked about. Oh, I'm glad that I didn't ruin your thing just now. You've heard about the rubber ducks. You made the noise like you have. Mm-hmm. I've Is heard this, about the rubber ducks. There was like a, a storm and a shipping container, many shipping containers, like fell off of a boat. This happens sometimes, which is crazy to me, to think like you could order like a bunch of something from China. And you're like, I want to get my China stuff. And then like... There's a storm and a bunch of the shipping containers just fall just off the boat. Just a bunch of iPhones into the yeah. ocean. Yeah, and you're like, well, I'm never getting my things. Yeah. Whatever, and whatever Robert I was manufacturing, all my, all my dildos just in the ocean now. But instead, it was there was one of the shipping containers busted open and it had a bunch of rubber ducks in it, which float. And then they started showing up in places like on the beach in Alaska by measuring the concentration of where these like fifty thousand or whatever rubber ducks where they ended up. We like got more data about like how ocean currents worked and probably are photodegrading in the Great Pacific Gyre. Where did the Chinese dildos go? <laughs> they probably sank. The dildos are pretty dense. And, and filled they... with phthalates as we'll learn yes. later. Allison will talk about the dildos. Starting starting to work on the phthalate thing in the dildos. They're, you can get phthalate free dildos now. One time I saw a picture on Reddit, a, a dildo manufacturing plant. Wow. Was, I have seen this was picture. Was casting off, like it was sending its casts to the recycling plant. So it had these big, heavy metal <laughs> casts that they would shoot, you know, probably stuff full of phthalates into to make the dildos. And then it was just like a dumpster full of like dick molds. The S is important there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love the water cycle. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And then I like the idea that then it could be turned into bone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then, and yeah, then, like and then it gets put into somebody, yeah. and, or possibly a monkey. Or possibly a monkey. We're still being careful about this. I didn't even, like, until like five years ago, I didn't even have a good handle on like why the ocean was salty at all. And it makes so much sense. It's like a reverse still. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you're getting all the fresh water out, and you leave behind whatever gets washed down. The fresh water falls, and it gets less fresh on the way on the way down to the ocean, picking up all that stuff and all the gold and all the gold. <laughs> all the gold. <laughs> Someday we will get out of the ocean. There's a statistic that if you if you dried out the oceans, the salt left behind would be big enough to ha to make a wall a mile wide and a mile high that goes all the way around the Earth. Well, we could certainly put that along the <laughs> southern border of the United <laughs> States. I said no politics. <laughs> I feel like. I guess that's huge, but I feel like that's you not... You want it to be more? I want it to be more, <laughs> yeah. I think, yeah. Well, have you ever seen, like, the picture of the ball of water? Mm. So, like, there's the Earth, and it's, like, it's covered in water, right? Yeah. But then if you actually take all of the water that's on Earth... Oh, yes, yes, it's yes. It's, like, a much... Like, you're like, oh. Because yeah. it's just... it's For the most part, it's just surface. on the very, very surface. Yeah. Like, once you get down, so it's just, like, this little thin skin of water. Yeah. Don't actually have that much. Which is like how I feel when I think about the atmosphere. I'm like, boy, that's a thin little skin of not death. It's so, right? it's a real small like lay, like yeah. this. There sure is death not so far away. Of just a, a, a couple thousand feet, and it's real hard to breathe. Yeah, go up to where planes are. And I so I used to work at this marine science center, and in 2002, an orca whale washed up, and they did a necropsy of this whale, and they found they had to like readjust the graph that measures chemicals and toxics in marine life. And so they looked at, okay, what is in this whale? DDT and, uh, what is it, PCBs? DDT. So, those were banned in the 70s. Yeah. Yeah. This whale washed up in 2002 and it had the highest ever recorded levels stuff of go DDT away. and PCBs. Yeah, yeah, those are yeah. like fat soluble, just sit around, goes right. all the way up the food chain. Exactly. So we've got that going on. <laughs> <laughs> that was banned in the are 70s. You just, you're, this is like, this section is just for Caitlin, who loves sad stuff. <laughs> I know, stuff. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Get ready to cry, guys. <laughs> because like right around when that was banned, we started like really ramping up like PVC sure, yeah. production. And that's like full of phthalates and phthalates are in absolutely everything like glue, packaging, tape, medical devices, detergents, like anything that's a gel. I'm just like waiting for you to get to dildos and I'm like, where's the dildos? Yeah, <laughs> yeah dildos. All the dildos. Like any sort of little gel, like, you know, like a cock ring maybe that's like kind of sure, stretchy. Like a stretchy cock ring. Phthalates. So it's in absolutely everything. And the process that combines phthalates with plastic, it doesn't create a covalent bond. Like the, the manufacturing process where you're like of. adding this phthalate to this plastic to make it this way, they're just kind of, yeah, like mashed up together. So they can um, come 
apart. Yeah, yeah they're it's entangled. Like pla plastic in a phthalate suspension almost. Exactly. So they can come apart really easily. They can come apart from heat or just from, they can just I don't microwaving. Know, microwaving I'm a Tupperware container bit, a or some bit saran about, wrap over the top yeah. of your. Stop microwaving or like your dildos. Or leaving so, your so plastic I'm, spoon. I'm thinking this, this is a good reason to not have that in dildos. Yes, yeah, so we yeah. shouldn't have it in dildos. Because it does get hot in there. It gets hot in there. Yeah. Especially if you just microwaved it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I feel like you wouldn't have said it gets hot in there unless I had. <laughs> and now I feel bad that I made you say it. That's fine, it does. <laughs> <laughs> so is this going to affect my, like, my, my penile function or is it just going to give me cancer? Because like one or the other, like... <laughs> what, Which would uh, what, you rather have What happen? level of concern should I be? <laughs> Hank, it is, phthalates are 100% safe. <laughs> there are no hazardous effects from consuming, smelling, or ingesting phthalates. I feel like you, I've been misled. It's a joke, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so bad for you. Here, let me start. I've got like three pages of what's bad about this. So they're hormone disruptors. So right off the bat, we're gonna just. I'm worried about my penis now. Really gonna mess everything up. Um, hormones affect other parts of your life too. <laughs> <laughs> respiratory issues, endocrine disruption. So like breast cancer, birth defects, premature birth, low birth weight. Babies and children, like all through preschool, delayed motor, mental, and behavioral development, liver damage, allergies, skin allergies, asthma, ADHD, and neurological disorders. What? For those of you at How home, she does literally have three I pages. I have three yeah. pages of three <laughs> pages. So anyway, it's really bad for us, but at the end of the day, you just wash it off, right? Goes down the drain. Down the rivers. Into the ocean. Seeps right in. When you put some phthalates, like, DBP is a phthalate that's often in cosmetics to make them like gels, and then DEHP is a phthalate that's used to make PVC. Those two phthalates, when you combine them, like if you dump them all, like all the phthalates and all the other stuff into the water, when those combine, it creates a much more toxic Interesting. situation. Yeah, they're like, hey, we got these two. Don't put them in the same bottle together, but do put them in the same river together. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And then basically the same thing happens to marine life, which causes, you know, it's like they harder get for they their... They get ADHD. Yeah, they get ADHD, <laughs> they have a hard time reproducing, like larval development takes longer. Once the eggs have, mm. l like, hatched or, like, things are hatching, it takes the marine animals longer to get out of the eggs. Mm. When they're super, super vulnerable. When they're super, super vulnerable, because if you've ever seen, like, some animals hanging around a sack of squid eggs... Just waiting. It's a party. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've, so, I've been at that party. Sex yeah. quit eggs. It's a party. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin's typing. Making notes like, I well, gotta put that on a shirt someday. And again, because it's a hormone disruptor, brain, muscle, and liver function is all sort of compromised. So the ability to even like convert food into energy if you're full of phthalates becomes a lot harder. So all of this just means it's easier for you to be eaten and your population is going to decrease. That is the exciting, happy thing that I have to tell you guys about phthalates. I was just about to ask if there is any sort of light at the end of this tunnel. <laughs> we stopped using them as much. Yeah, we have Good. stopped using them as much. But the UK not going is way away. better. Yeah, we're well, like, ahead of the curve. They're, yeah. they're a lot better than the US at like, banning hey, up hey, stuff no in politics. cosmetics. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this snippet of Holy Fucking Science. If you would like more, you can see the full episode at youtube.com slash holyfuckingscience. That's right. Holy Fucking Science is a podcast about science that is not for children. It contains mild violence, swearing, alcohol consumption, and sometimes the science isn't super vetted, so don't share it in the classroom. For more Holy Fucking Science, we are on YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes, and Google Play Music. Also other places where you might be able to find podcasts. Thank you for watching. <laughs>